You going out? Gonna go out. Excellent. What the? Something weird's going on here. Like some piece of dot came up. That's a strange one. I wonder where that one came from. I think. Um, they do. Give it a shout out. Who? Matt Kiteboarding in Grand Haven. And that's Ryan out there? Yes. Ryan, also called Rigo out there. Rigo? Yes. <laughs> I heard you mention Hookstra earlier. Someone mentioned Hookstra. Oh, Hooksama. Hooksama. Yeah, he's, my a, he's a photographer. I got, I got photos, or, uh, photos? Photos. Still photos of him out here. It was probably about this time of year. There was oh, yeah. still a lot of ice. Oh, yeah. Ice out here, snow, anything. He's always out here. Any windy day, any surfing day, you'll find Hukuma out here. <laughs> so, are these guys nuts, extreme sports, or is this just an acquired taste and it's not that hard? Uh, a little bit of both, a little of everything, you know. Um, it's not too hard to get into the sport. It's, um, you just gotta take a couple lessons. Um, Matt Kite gives lessons and just get the right gear, learn about the safety, and within a weekend, you can be out there and riding. And to be out there this time of year, that's like a little bit of, a little bit of nuts in to, to do it, but it's definitely worth it, especially when you get the stoke in you. And he's the one without the gloves? Uh, no, he actually does have the gloves. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Lee Boots, who is also a rider for Matt Kite, he uh, is the one out there without the gloves. Burr. Yeah. That definitely is that to ride without gloves. <laughs> so you go out there? I do. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? Kristen. Kristen, I'm yes. John. John, nice to meet you. So, is it a workout? Um, like lifting weights, like running, marathon? You know, it takes a little bit of strength, um, your legs, um, a little bit in your core, but it's really not that bad. Anybody can do it. Little kids can do it. Um, older people can do it. Um, it's, it's not too bad because you have a harness around you, and that's where a lot of the pull comes from, where a lot of people think it comes from your arms. It's actually pulling you from around your waist. So it's not too bad of a workout. Really? Yeah. I was more coordinated. I might try that. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should. I can't you're skateboard. Out here, you might as well. <laughs> I can't skateboard. I can't out rollerblade. <laughs> I can walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you take a lesson. They'll get you started and they'll teach you the basics and they'll get you on your way. Did I mention I can't even golf? <laughs> well, good thing golf has nothing to do with this, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is Michigan. This is my hometown. I'm half youper, half troll. The youper is someone in the upper peninsula. And a troll, well, the lower peninsula is under the bridge, so that's why we're trolls. I'm a half troll. I mean, when we get on our favorite social media site, Facebook is mine, my timeline is riddled with clickbait. We all hate the clickbait. And the worst part about it is that there's no real content. 
it's a website with so-called journalists and you just swipe a bunch of pictures and information that somebody else worked to make and uh, they call it their own and throw a bunch of ads on it there's a bunch of them that try to keep it local so maybe they'll have the top 10 reasons why your state is the best and of course they have 50 similar stop it I'm whining I'm being a whiny baby I'm so sorry I'm supposed to be ranting let's take a look at a specific article from a specific website from a specific Facebook page it's called only in Michigan the headline reads the ultimate Michigan waterfalls road trip is right here what's right here what does that mean now let's say hypothetically we're downtown Detroit this road trip starts at Pottawatomie Falls the western end of Michigan's Upper Peninsula if you're in downtown Detroit this may as well read your ultimate Empire State Building road trip is right here because it takes the same amount of time and same amount of miles to drive to the Empire State Building as it does the Pottawatomie Falls clickbait so-called journalism here we've got a map it says we're gonna visit these waterfalls in just over eight hours let's do some fact checking I mean honestly I've seen better journalism go down a toilet than what I'm seeing here at at this website the first waterfall listed on the website here is Pottawatomie Falls it's on the Black River part of the Black River National Scenic Byway beautiful highly highly recommended visit here the second waterfall mentioned here is Gabriel Falls part of the Black River true but not part of the scenic byway on the Black River here Gorge Falls is, is omitted from this list enjoy the other waterfalls along the Black River Gabriel Falls it's a cool place to see if you if, if you're determined to see every waterfall in Michigan otherwise honestly Gabriel Falls is skippable up next is Manabezo Falls in the Presque Isle River newsflash this is not Manabezo Falls journalism should be fact checking their stuff the name of this waterfall is unnamed waterfall the next waterfall Manito Falls yes it's on the Presque Isle River this is the correct waterfall pictured here now the Presque Isle River Black River not far apart enjoy the Black River scenic byway and then go over to the Presque Isle River and enjoy the waterfalls there and then enjoy a little bit of the Porcupine Mountains there is a perfect waterfall wilderness day trip okay so this next one kind of pains me a little bit for a couple of reasons because for one it is one of my two favorite waterfalls in Michigan and for two see I this is about the journalism not about the well-meaning photographers most of which I'm sure are amateurs and hobbyists and hey they're just putting their work up there they love their work they want to show it off and so they might get a fact or two wrong or they might take a picture that maybe most photographers wouldn't take now this particular photo of Bond Falls this particular angle of Bond Falls I should say I've seen before I've seen many times I've seen some top-notch pros take a photo of Bond Falls from this angle personally not my choice of how I would represent Bond Falls therefore really the burden is on the journalism here once again let's take a look this is Bond Falls and this is Bond Falls and this is Bond Falls yes you can see why it's one of my favorites and then if you're stopping at Bond Falls definitely just a few miles away visit Agate Falls another beauty if we're considering Bond Falls one of my favorite waterfalls this waterfall that's pictured here is also a big favorite you can view this one of two ways either by boat or you can view it from hiking and if you do it right it's do it in six hours pack a lunch and enjoy the hike but I do need to note that this says it's Munising Falls the name of this waterfall is Spray Falls Munising Falls another one in the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore I highly recommend you see it next up is Miners Falls this is also another great beautiful one two mile round trip hike it's an easy hike but it's not a short hike and once you get there you can view it from the platform what I recommend if you're up for it jump the fence scale the cliff and enjoy Miners Falls from down at the bottom and 
for what it's worth, this is what Miners Falls really looks like. Again, discrediting the journalism here. And then the third waterfall on this list that is part of the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore is Sable Falls. Again, beautiful spot. Stop there and check it out. And then after you've seen the waterfalls, keep going down the trail. You'll end up right at the Lake Superior shoreline with a beautiful view of the giant sand dunes. The thing about this area, the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, this is not a one day trip. I would recommend enjoying the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore in four or five days. Spend a week there. You got a week's vacation, check it out. It's raining, we'll take this last one real quick. Taquamanan Falls is not just a waterfall, it is a major tourist attraction in the eastern upper peninsula. Of course, I highly recommend it. And if you're spending an extended weekend, maybe you're hitting Mackinac Island, the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum, Taquamanan Falls is a must see, and it is a must see year round. They've got a nice brew pub there, stop for lunch and a beer. Rain or shine, it is a great destination. Rain, shine, or snow. It is also an extremely popular spot amongst snowmobilers. Photo tip of the day. If you notice during this rant, I intentionally selected some really cool spots to take advantage of the fog. Areas in the background looked faded compared to areas closer to the camera. Now when we photograph, whether we're using our phone or a nicer big DSLR camera, what we are doing is we're taking our marvelous three-dimensional world and condensing it into a two-dimensional package. When you take advantage of something like fog and haze, you add more perspective to the photograph, to the image. You make it just a little more three-dimensional. That's how that works. I'm John. Thanks for joining us. And remember, keep pulling that trigger. How can I be angry and ranting when there are swans swimming in the background? No, they're so pretty. Okay. Thanks. Swan. Up that. That's some thunder. That must mean there's light. Pitching. More lightning, more thunder. Holy sh